Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly reading for June 6th to the 12th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, and Rising. And while this is a general reading for the week, I get really specific. I use astrology, tarot, and my guides to lead your reading. Now, the reason I use astrology is because astrology and tarot go hand in hand. Uh, listen, Scorpio, June 6th to the 12th. All right, let's get into it. I'm not going to talk about too many astrological alignments because I you uh, I leave it in the description, the key dates that you should pay attention to. But two things I'm going to focus on real quick. We know Mars is in Aries and Venus is in Taurus, okay? These are two major planets in their domicile, okay? If you don't speak astrology, that's fine. It just means that they're in their home signs, which is going to make this week very, very nice, okay? No squares, nothing like really crazy this week. Uh, but I do want you to know, Mars is all about action, okay? Venus is all about desire. It's about the things that we want, the things that we lack, that we want in our life, okay? So what does that mean? We need to take action this week. I want you to take action this week for the things that you want in your life, Scorpio. Now, Mars and Jupiter are in Aries. That's your sixth house. We could see some a lot of activity in your sixth house, which rules a lot of different things, but... That's why we do tarot, because we're going to get to the bottom of it, but it does rule sort of like your day-to-day -day activities. Uh, health is in there. Uh, also, Venus and Taurus, listen, beautiful. I, I love Venus and Taurus, and, so, and it, it is one of my favorite, favorite, like when Venus is in Taurus, things are really good, all right? Uh, but I want you to know, Venus and Taurus is actually in your seventh house, and that rules partnerships. So, again... Go for it. You know what the theme of this week is, Scorpio? The theme of this week is it's about damn time. The reason why that's the theme is because by the end of this month, by next month, I want you to be able to say it's about damn time I got what I deserved. Okay, Scorpio? This is it. This is it. Put action into it. Uh, you know, when I say this, this week is going to be smooth, I want you to know that Mercury is finally back into orbit. It's no longer retrograde. However, Saturn did go retrograde. Now, listen, this is going to be for, you know, Saturn's a slow moving planet, so it's going to go on for a while. But all I ask you to do, Scorpio, because Scorp uh, Saturn does rule authority and leadership and even karma. So what I want you to do, Scorpio, I want you to think about the structure in your life. I want you to think about how you want to move forward with your life, okay? Rules, regulations, all that stiff stuff, all the stuff that kind of limits us or restricts us. That's what Saturn does. It tries to teach you a lesson. But I, wanted you, I want you to use this power, Saturn retrograde, in your favor, all right? Listen, you can do it. Remember, what is the theme of the week? It's about damn time. Now, Scorpio, Sun and Rising, let's go ahead and get started with your reading for June 6th to the 12th. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I do a traditional Celtic cross spread. Uh, this is the one that my clients prefer. If you do want to book a private reading with me, you know where to find me. It's all in my description. Secondly, Scorpio, if this is your first time to my channel, it would be great if you like and subscribe. It really, really does help my channel grow. And actually, if you are a subscriber, if you have seen my um, videos in the past, you'll notice, I because I'm still medium new to YouTube, I'm slowly getting there. You see, I have the mic, got this a few weeks ago. I got the lamp thing, the ring light, so I'm not in the dark. But uh, if you have any advice, if you have any tips, if there's anything you want to see, feel free to leave them in the comments. I read all the comments, and it's really helpful for me. It really helps me because I want to know what you want to, all right? And there you go. There's one of your karma points, all right? Because that's Saturn ruling karma. So, Scorpio, let's get started with your reading. I want to make sure that you can see. Okay, cool. And I'm going to take, I'm going to bring the cards up to the screen. Uh, Scorpio, this is going to be a very, very big week for you. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Ooh, gosh. I love this. I love this, Scorpio. I love this new direction you're going in. I love, 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 love it. Okay? Now, here. Let's get started. You did pull the Nine of Swords. What I, here's the thing. Looks scary, right? But hey, it came up in your past area. So what this means is that you went through some 
possible burden. You went through some challenging times in your life, okay? I am getting the message that from so it, it, it ranges, okay? Some Scorpios had little things happen like breakups, fights with family, things like that, but enduring. They were, they, it, it wasn't like an overnight thing. It was lasting, okay? But then there could have been bigger moments also, all right? It could have been a really big breakup. It could have been you uh, having to leave your house or something, or uh, even like, you know, a family member getting sick. Those are a lot of things that have been happening, but you're coming out of that. Now, I want you to know, nine is the end, okay? Well, not Nine is the don't give up card, okay? You're close to the end. This is all coming over, but because it came in your past, came in your past era, you are in the process of overcoming it. This is something that, you know, if you have literally been losing sleep over this situation that has happened or this challenge that have ha has happened, I want you to have full confidence that it will come to an end very soon. And what you need to do is look at things in a new perspective. So I want you to move away from this moment that did have an impact on you, but take from it, learn from it, grow from it. And when you do that, you can look and you can see the world in a whole new direction, all right? This is the Hanged Man, again, a scary looking card, but it is one of my favorite cards, as a lot of y'all subscribers know, okay? This is all about new perspective. This is all about looking at things in a different way. You can see that he is being hanged in the form of a cross. This has a lot of spiritual connotations to it. Doesn't matter if you believe in God, doesn't matter if you believe in the universe, whatever that higher being is, whatever you believe in, trust it right now, tap into it right now, okay? Because that's going to help you move forward, okay? It's gonna help you make you see things in a very different way because you can see he put himself here. Nobody put himself here but himself. He wanted to see things in a very different way. He wanted to have a new perspective. You can see the halo over his head, okay? You can see the smile on his face. It's working for him. It's working for him because the things that were uh, his patterns, his behaviors, the things that he was doing in the past, roadblock, just kept hitting walls, all right? Let's look in a different way. Let's open our mind and look in a different way, Scorpio, all right? Now, that's the thing, because listen, Ace of Pentacles, all right, came up in your challenge area. Ace brings in a lot of new change, okay? And Pentacles is all about money. It's all about wealth. It's all about money and wealth, basically, at the end of the day, all right? Assets, anything that involves that. But it came up in your challenge area. So when I say have a new perspective, you really have to have a new perspective because that's not. this is not going to come through until you look at things in a different way. Now, when I say this is going to be a seamless week, I want you to take advantage of it, okay? Because there are a lot of planets, not only Mars and Venus in their domicile, there's uh, Saturn's in Aquarius, okay? Neptune's in Pisces. There's a lot of Mercury's going into Gemini next week. There's a lot of planets. This is a good window of opportunity for you to look at things in a different way. Take a look at things that have not been working for you in the past and see what you can do to make them work for you in the future, okay? That's going to open this up. That's going to help you bring in this money. Big time. Huge. Hugely. Is hugely a word. I don't even know, but we are going to move on to the Hermit. This is in your crown. I love this. Okay, the Hermit, huge Virgo energy, first of all. But secondly, this is really all about uh, doing a little soul searching. And I love that it came up because it goes perfectly with everything that's happening here. Okay, you got the Hermit, you got the Hanged Man, but also you got the Five of Cups. So now, the Hermit, this is all about reaching some milestone. You've achieved a lot, you've accomplished a lot and you've climbed the, the top of the mountain, now you just want to be alone, all right? You want to think about your next step. But in order to do that, one, you have to do a little bit of soul searching. You know why? You can see as a lantern here, but you can only see so far with the lantern light. Where do you see that light? How do you see further than what's like within arm's length? You look inside you, okay? Remember, new perspective. Do what you can to look at things in a new way. That's going to open everything up for you, all right? So I want you to remember that. And it looks like you're thinking about that anyway. I think I want you to spend some time alone this week. You know, don't completely remove yourself, but spend some time alone 
I don't, it doesn't matter if you meditate. Uh, meditation comes in the form of so many things. You can be cooking. You can be taking your dog on a walk. You can be doing a lot of different things. That is meditation because as long as you're not, you know, plugged into your Spotify or whatever, I mean, you can be if you're listening to like soothing music, especially at a certain, you know, vibration level and frequency. We can get into that later, but this is all about you. Scorpio, this is a very personal journey for you. All right. Now we did. I did mention the five of cups deep down inside. It looks like you are still disappointed about something. All right. I got the message that some Scorpio, some things that you've wanted to happen, come to fruition, hasn't happened yet. Listen, there is also uh, back. This also goes back to the nine of swords. Okay. This disappointing situation, something that's brought you grief, something that's brought you sorrow, something that you can't let go. You're so obsessed with it. You can see, look, he's, well, I wouldn't say obsessed, but it's still like something that is haunting you. Okay. It's something that you can see him looking at the spilled cups, but he's so immersed in the spilled cups. He can't see that the full cups are right behind him. He can't see that there's a bridge. All he has to do is cross that bridge into a happier place. So what I want you to do, Scorpio, is remember, I want you to look at things in a new way, all right? That's going to help you. And I want you to spend some time alone thinking about that. I want you to think about your future. Remember, I did say Saturn is retrograde. This is a good time to think about what hasn't worked for you in the past and what will work for you in the future, okay? Remember what I said. It's about damn time. That's what I want you to be able to say in uh, tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow, within this month, this summer, I want you to be able to say, it's about damn time I got what I deserve, all right? Now, Queen of Pentacles. Listen, you have been coming into, uh, there has been a lot of changes for Scorpios. I'm not gonna lie, listen. I've been doing your readings for a while, okay? I don't forget these things, all right? There has been money, there has been movement, uh, literal movement too, home, uh, or uh, moving home, moving cities, uh, something uh, like moving in with a partner, move, just something that's very different, very new to you, okay? But look, you did get the Queen of Pentacles, and so this brings it all back to money, okay? Uh, you know, uh, uh, some of this disappointment, you could have lost a job too. You could have lost a job, or you could have lost something. Uh, there is just some major loss from the past that we're moving from. But remember what I said, I want you to learn from it. I want you to grow from it. I want you to use it to your advantage, okay? I want you to feel powerful, not powerless, all right? Take that with you. Remember, you did get the Queen of Pentacles in your future area, okay? Financial success, financial abundance, this is money coming in, all right? So if you have not felt that yet now, you will do, you will have that energy coming in but again, I cannot stress enough. I cannot stress enough. You really need to look at things in a different way, okay? Look at things in a different way. Look at the way that things have been working in the past or the ways that things have not been working in the past. Spend some time with yourself thinking about that and thinking how you can change it, all right? Now, Queen of Pentacles, all about fertility, growth, abundance. We love this, okay? Especially in partnerships. You know, some Scorpios could be entering new partnerships, all right? Uh, and that's really good, especially because Venus and Taurus is your seventh house, Scorpio, okay? And so that's all about partnerships. So take advantage of that. Please take advantage of that, all right? Go go do what you can, especially with this new perspective. Um, this is, this is uh, maybe there's a, something else out there for you that will make you so happy, but you haven't spent any time looking for it because you're looking at the spilled cups and you have the nine swords hanging over you, all right? So remember, let's think about moving forward, thinking about looking at things in a new way. All right, Scorpio, let's go to your staff. If you like this reading, it would be great if you like and subscribe. Uh, again, it really does help me out. <laughs> and Scorpio, I love you. I love Scorpio. A lot of my exes have been Scorpios, and we're still, like, really good friends. I'm an Aquarius, so um, I don't know if that means anything to you, but um, I love Scorpios, all right? And y'all are great. Y'all are so passionate. I love Scorpios. Now, Scorpios, okay, we're going to your staff. Boom, 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 boom. This is so interesting here. 
This is so interesting. You got three major arcanas, so pay attention to the stuff, all right? This is how you should approach what the main situation is, but you also got another uh, another challenge card, another five, but we'll get to that, all right? First, you got the devil, okay? So, Scorpio, my advice to you, please, please, for the love of God, let go. Please let go, okay? Please. Take your time doing whatever you have to do, okay? I know how sensitive Scorpios are, all right? Take your time, but the devil came up indicating that you're still holding on to something. You're still holding on to something that's not good for you to hold on to, all right? And so for some other Scorpios, when I said Mars is in Aries and Jupiter is in Aries and Venus is in Taurus, I want that to be a wake-up call for you. That is all about taking action for the things you want. This is holding on to things that do not move us forward, okay? So I want you to let go of, you know, this is the, the card of addiction. Um, addiction comes in the form of drugs, alcohol, but also addiction comes in the form of binging Netflix all day and getting no work done or being on your phone all the time doing social media and doom scrolling all those things that is addiction but also it's patterns and behaviors the way that you do things in your life that really don't move you forward remember this is all going back here this remember I first say your main card new perspective look at things in a different way okay have that moment, all right? So we really want to get let go of the things that are not working for us, okay? But we also want to get, we want to move forward from the patterns that we're used to that really do nothing for us, okay? So I want you to spend time thinking about that. Remember I said Saturn is retrograde. This is a good time to do it. You have a window of opportunity. It is this week. It's time to take action now, okay, Scorpio? And I know you can do it, Scorpio. Remember I said y'all are amazing and so passionate and I oh I love and the intensity you have around that passion I know you can do this I don't even have to tell you okay so the good news is you got the empress all right so the empress is all about abundance okay and it comes in a lot of different forms uh, you can see the sign of symbol uh this the symbol of Venus all over her dress, okay? So this is huge Venus energy here, all right? Love, money, power, all the finer things in life. Boom, it's coming. This came in your area of external factors, something's coming. Someone could actually help you too to bring these things for you, all right? Someone can help trigger all that, all right? But know that it's coming. All you have to do is have this new perspective, okay? And then let go. Let go of those things that are holding you back. The Empress. Some of y'all could have a kid soon, too. This is giving birth, all right? Not only giving birth to, like, kids, but also giving birth to new ideas. If you're a very creative Scorpio, I mean, you could have some beautiful new ideas that come in that really inspire you. They inspire you, and they give you that moment of clarity and that aha moment and that inspiration to actually move forward from this. So I'm really happy you got that. And listen, Scorpio, the high priestess, we love the high priestess and I love that for you, okay? So remember when I did say, spend some time doing a little bit of soul searching, I was not kidding, all right? You got the high priestess as well, and she is the guardian of the subconscious. She is asking you to tap into your intuition, to be a little bit more grounded and psychic, and, and she's such a, not like literally psychic, but we all have a, a sixth sense, right? We all have intuition. I want you to tap into that a little more. I want you to trust yourself a little more. Now, you did get the five of wands, okay? This is your, remember, challenge, all right? So what this means, this, especially coming in, in this particular spread and it being the final outcome, you can see this is fighting, okay? This is fighting. You can see these people fighting. There's an argument. People are not seeing eye to eye. But take a closer look, all right? You can see that they're literally just swinging their wands in the air. So what does that mean, Scorpio? Oof, 
It means whatever this argument is, whatever this challenge is, it is so not worth your time. This is so beneath you, okay? So I want you to nip it in the bud. If you have some sort of conflict, if you have some sort of challenge, if you have some sort of situation or issue with colleagues, with family, with friends, know that you are the better person and just come out on top, okay? Not only do I want you to come out of this knowing that it's not worth their time, I want you to come out of this knowing you know that you're the better person and you don't deserve any of this drama. But not only that, I want you to know that you're coming out of it being a better version of yourself. Scorpio, I love you, okay? Remember, it's all about having a new perspective. It's all about thinking about changing the ways that we see things, all right? Especially now, especially this week. I really want you to put some effort into taking action, into those things you want. Venus is all about desire. Venus is in Taurus, that's her seventh house. Partnerships. Uh, partnerships in terms of love and career, okay? So listen, let's just get rid of the devil. Let's not look at the spilled cups. Let's not let the swords, you know, all the emotional things that have happened in the past, don't let that haunt you, okay? Listen, you don't have to do this overnight. It takes time. I know it takes time, but everything is saying that you have abundance coming, major abundance coming. All you have to do is get rid of the devil and look at things in a new perspective. And Scorpio, I know that you've got this. I know you've got this, okay? And remember the theme of the week. It's about damn time. Think about that moment when you can say it's about damn time. I got what I deserve. Think about that emotion, that moment of elation, nirvana that you are going to feel when you're able to say it. Scorpio, I love you so much. I love you so much. And I will see you next week. Have a great week. See you next week. Thank you.